In this video, we're going to show you how to take a file that someone else did into MapSource and manipulate it so you can be sure that it will execute properly exactly the way the original person intended it on your GPS. First, let's go up to File, and I'm going to load in a, a route that a friend did uh, for a, a trip that we did off to the Catskills uh, last year. And we're going to load that in. You can see here's the uh, 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 Catskills Easton Ash 186. I'm going to right click on it and then come down and say show selected route on map. This way I can look at the whole thing all at once. I'm going to right click again and if you notice there's various things you can collect, uh, uh, select. I'm going to take um, uh, and do a, a duplicate route and you see now it's come up and it's called something else because it's automatically assigned it. little trick I do, I like to go in first thing, uh, take off the auto name and then give it the same name, except we'll call it dupe, and then so we've got the same name, but now we're calling it dupe. I'm also going to change the uh, color uh, to something that'll stand out because I want to see the difference between the two. I'm going to make it yellow. So here's our original one in magenta and our duplicate copy in yellow. Uh, now I'm going to take on the duplicate copy and tell it to do a recalculation. Now keep in mind, uh, everyone may have a different version of map source, different map sets, different GPS's with different algorithms inside, so you really need to go through this to ensure that it's going to uh, operate correctly. Now even though we're zoomed way out, you can see that there's a couple areas where uh, the original route is showing through. That means our yellow route, our duplicate route, which we have selected, is not conforming to the original one. Here's the original one, in magenta, and here. So what we're going to do is just take and grab, come down. There's various ways of zooming in. Um, we'll go over that in another video. But for right now, we're going to zoom in to what the start was. And then we're going to go through and make uh, this uh, particular route conform to the original one. Keep in mind, the original one is the magenta. and the uh, yellow is the one we're going to make conform. It's the duplicate. So we take it and select on the uh, selection tool, uh, click on the route, elastic band comes up, click here, and now it'll recalculate automatically. You'll notice it now is conforming to the original route. We can see there's, see there's still more that uh, hasn't been done. Matter of fact, this route has a number of things about it that are really kind of strange. So we're just going to go through and for some reason, my, my, uh, it just does not calculate correctly in my GPS or my map source. But that's okay. We can make it conform to the original. Zoom in a little bit more. Now, if you notice here, this is going to be a little tricky because if you notice, we've got arrows coming back and going out. So this is our origination point, which means that we've actually got two routes. So if I want to make sure I follow exactly the way my friend set this up, I'm going to click on both and bring them over. And now we're going to execute exactly as the original did. You can continue on doing this until you've uh, uh, captured all of the uh, 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 points that differ between the two. Typically, I like to uh, zoom in to somewhere around about um, 7 tenths of a mile. If it's you know more countryfied, Sometimes if you get into a more congested area, I may go into 0.3 uh, tenths of a mile just to make sure that, in fact, it's all correct. So let's say we've gone through, we've, coll we've collected them all. The other little trick that I will do, uh, we've corrected them all, now it's conforming. The other little trick that I'll do is to make sure that there's enough via points in my route so that it doesn't end up going a different way. So here you can see the route is set up to where the intended route is to come up and around uh, as you can see by the yellow path, but I see this little part off the side. Now this uh, dash line means that it's a dirt road, but you know what? Maybe my GPS is going to say, hey, I don't mind dirt roads, and I can just do this, this little tricky path here. Well, again, a way to make sure that it follows the original path is to put a via point in just by clicking on the route, and that now will force the GPS to go from that uh, to this via point onto the next one. So we've that's at this point say we've got it all correct even though we don't <laughs> we're going to take uh, the original one and we're going to delete it and now we're going to double click on this 
and change the name to what the original one was. So we all are using the same name. And I may, in my case, sometimes I do a little thing like V9 because that tells me what maps that I did this on. If I end up getting a different GPS in the future, it has uh, um, you know newer maps to it. Quite frankly, you may have to do this exact same thing again, even though you develop your own route. So let's make it back to magenta since that's a nice pretty color. And all we have to do now is go File, Save As, save it back as the, uh, as the original file. We're going to overwrite it. And matter of fact, let's make it look real pretty so we can see it all at one time. There you go. Just download it to your GPS and uh, have a good ride.